I've been streaming a lot of Beat Saber on my own time lately, and the number one thing the chat's always asking me is, hey Linus, when are you gonna do that cool thing where you're like standing in the game and like actually holding the sabers and stuff? And my answer is always, when I can find a freaking gigantic green screen and a sophisticated camera set up to do such a thing. Conveniently. I happen to have just that thing here at the Linus Media Group studio. So today's video is gonna be us going through the adventure of setting up mixed reality streaming and me attempting to beat my all time high score in Laszlo Supernova, my unofficial theme song. I have a theme song. Speaking of theme songs, the theme song I'm gonna sing for you guys right now is about our sponsor. FreshBooks accounting software is custom built for small business owners like you to help you stay more organized and productive. Try their 30 day free trial at freshbooks.com forward slash tech tips. We're gonna have that linked below. James and Andy have spent about the last hour collecting all the pieces that we're gonna need for this setup. Starting of course with a camera. Now, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it upright. So we're gonna be using a Blackmagic 4K pocket camera to get as much resolution and as much separation between our subject, that's me, and our green screen as possible. We are also going to need a nice, powerful VR capable gaming rig. So this right here is the Auto, and this thing is freaking sick, 2080 Ti, Core i9-9900K, all that good stuff. We're using a Vive Pro because I wanted to do this wirelessly. Long story, we might not be able to because Jake has the dongle at his house for some reason. Of course, we've got all our lighthouses, we've got power for everything, and we have significantly upgraded the lighting setup for our green screen. Normally, we've got nothing but these ancient impact soft boxes that are probably the oldest functioning things in this studio other than me, and we just close off this side of the green screen in order to avoid spill with a duvetine curtain. But we've added whatever this is, so we've added a Westcott there. We've got a big soft box here. And is this another Westcott? Yep, another Westcott. So theoretically, we should have nice even lighting and all we need to sort out now is the software. Unfortunately, that's the hard part and we have no idea what we're doing. Okay, so sources, display capture. Okay, display, uh, yep, okay. Wait, that should be working right now. Uh, okay, well, we're off to a really good start. Download the live client on Steam. Do we, we got that? that? Okay, sweet. This is going really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Action cams and DSLRs. Yeah, 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 whatever. We got a little more than a GoPro. Yeah, we can sort that out. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get the headset hooked up. Uh, is this actually powered right now? I still don't have power. Wait, it has a power button. This whole thing has a power button? Yeah. It's okay, we'll cut out all the parts where we look stupid. They always tell me they're gonna do that. They never actually do it. <laughs> As part of our troubleshooting process, we were dinking around with this. Well, we're gonna need to turn that around. The headset should pair to the controllers and it should pick up those in a second. No, it doesn't have to be that close. Yeah, that wouldn't work very well. That would be a bad VR experience. Thanks. <laughs> it's, I wasn't even trying to get that. <laughs> but now that I've got it. If you get out of here. Headset ready. Okay. Controllers off. Wow, I have a thousand hours in VR? That must include like accidentally leaving it on a bit. God, I hope so. There's no way you've played a thousand hours of VR games. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, so what else is going on? I am so excited to try this. I have wanted to do this forever. Looking like ninja, laser sword, badasses, slashing stuff. There's a lot of footage of you looking not very ninja badass, but it's because you can't see the virtual world that yeah, he's in. that's why. <laughs> <laughs> this is all about redemption. <laughs> LTTstore.com. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Oh, it's not fully, com it wasn't completely plugged in. Oh, okay, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good, we good. You see it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, okay, so wait. Hello? Hey, okay. Wow, it's like already keyed and stuff. That's freaking awesome. Look at this. Like it's not the sickest key. No, but like. It's automatic. Yeah. That's auto magic. Begin calibration. So written instructions. Bring your controller all the way up to the camera lens. Uh, Just one of them? Apparently. You want the controller to be touching the camera lens? Oh no, you didn't. 
The whole of the controller? Okay, so you want it like that? Okay. Yeah. How do I know if it's calibrated? I, do, I don't know. Andy made a genius observation. Obviously, the camera needs to be within sight of the lighthouses because otherwise, how would we calibrate where the controller is? Wait, shoot, it's gone. You know what, let's just go through the basic freaking setup first. Let's just have an actually set up VR thing first. This, oh. Okay. Didn't party like they did. Good. Oh, we, we're not capturing this, are we? With the trigger button, okay. Okay, we good? Okay. Try this one over here. Pretty nice. Oh, sh there it is. Ah, it's kind of on there. That's pretty impressive. Uh, we might have to do this again because the framing of the camera is like way off. <laughs> uh, Andy, we might need a different lens. Need a wider lens. Okay. Hello. Nice. So keying. Uh, this actually, do you want to play around with the threshold and stuff a little bit? I go way too far. Oh, too far. Now what happens if we grab that over an OBS? Capture EXE live app output. Let's see. Whoa, it's working. This is so cool. And now for a change, you guys can feel as cool as I do at the same time as me. That's good? Is that too far? Okay, I'm applying that. Oh, we don't have in-game audio. Wait, shoot. Okay, let's see if that's working now. Oh, uh, do we? No. Desktop, properties, Oculus virtual audio device. No, well, that's no wonder that wasn't working. This actually didn't take that long, about an hour. So it's working. I just need to kind of, I'm gonna turn it all off, turn it all back on, get some Beat Saber mods installed, and then I'm going for it. I'm going for slaying Laszlo Supernova. We're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so it's working. This is it, Supernova Expert Plus. I have never full comboed this, but we're going for it. If I'm gonna do it, now's the time. And we're done already. Wow, that was quick. Don't worry, I got this. Whew, we are, we are not off to a good start here. What the? Oh boy. I swear I'm decent at this game. They're heavy, in case anyone was wondering. No, I'm not settling for any less than full combo today. Oh, I accidentally hit the menu button. You gotta be kidding me. No! Man, not one mistake. Get distracted. I want one more attempt. No. Hold That's only S. It's not even double S. Hold <sighs> All right, well, I didn't get my combo, but hopefully you guys still had fun. I had fun. Almost as much fun as I'm gonna have telling you about our sponsor. Brilliant. Brilliant teaches you by having you solve problems on their website and app. They've got over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science, and it's just a great way to reach your goals in STEM. Their courses are designed to puzzle and surprise you, and one that you guys will probably like is Mathematic Fundamentals. Is it possible to drag the number tiles so that every row and column adds up to the target sum beside it? I mean, probably, because otherwise that would be a pretty mean puzzle to give you, but it's all about the journey, guys. The journey, not the destination. So go try it out today at brilliant.org slash Linus Tech Tips. The first 200 of you to check it out are gonna get 20% off. We're gonna have that link below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, maybe check out my recent review of the uh, Valve Index. That's probably the most recent. Oh, no, we also have a um, uh, Oculus Quest like wired tethered update where we check out the hand tracking as well. That's probably going to be out by the time you guys watch this. See ya. That one.